Hey guys, today I'm going to cover LinkedIn conversion tracking, but I'm actually going to go over some of the advanced techniques. Uh, so if you, if you look here, we have the spent, we have the uh, total conversion value that we get from the spent, which also means that uh, probably somewhere over here, we have a return on ad spend. So $1 would be 100%. Um, here is, you know, 135%. So, or another way of thinking about it is for every dollar of ad spend I spend, how many dollars am I getting back? So some of them are going to be at a loss. You spend a dollar, you only get 90 cents back. Some of them will be, you know, 4.5 X return. You'll get $4 and 57 cents back. But the important thing is you can't track that unless you're tracking your conversion value. So how do you do that? Um, so let me give you a crash course in conversion tracking. So if I go to analyze, and I go to conversion tracking, this is the new UI. Uh, some of you might still have it up here, but it should eventually get moved over here. Um, so here is what my conversion tracking looks like. And this is probably more than most of you have. Um, so here's how I think about it. You want to set up anything that is a co goal completion as far down the funnel as you can with conversion tracking. So if they fill out a form, if they book a call, if they sign up and they're a paying client, those are three big ones, but you can track anything that has value. And sometimes it's better to track like intent clicks um, and signs leading up to the first conversion before you actually have real conversions to track. So what I mean by that is any page on your website um, that has a URL, a, a different URL can be tracked as a goal conversion. So if you have a contact us page, or a book a demo or a pricing page, you could set those up as small conversions um, and basically the way you would do it. So let me show you this. Uh, so basically, here's our booked call conversion. So this is the actual booked call, last touch, last campaign. That means if there's four ads, four campaigns that they interact with, and then they finally convert on the fourth, uh, just that fourth one gets the conversion. So I usually set up a last and an each, but I give them different values. So this can be confusing. Uh, basically, each would mean that if they interact with four ads from four different campaigns, uh, LinkedIn would actually show four conversions. So that can be confusing because you see LinkedIn showing all these confusions. That would be if you used each, showing all these, con all these conversions, but you only had one actual booked call. So advertisers love to run with each because they get to show all these conversions. And usually the clients are confused. They don't have their other attribution in place. So they're taking your word for it as an advertiser that you gave them four conversions when really you didn't. So by default, I like to use last. If I had to choose one or the other, I would use last. Um, but recently I've actually enjoyed using both. So, and the way I differentiate is I would, I would weight to them with a conversion value. So that last touch, I believe for LinkedIn ads, uh, at least, um, is more valuable. Now, for other platforms where you can do a linear or time decay, where you can give those equal distribution, I like those too. But LinkedIn isn't that smart. So we have to give a value to last and a value to each. Um, so I give a value to last for my booked calls is 150. And then just so I can show the journey and that these played some role in it, I give these $10 uh, values. So the way you set it up is basically for all of these conversions, it's just page load. URL contains booked call. So as long as you have a unique URL that can be assigned to a goal, you can track it as conversion. So the way you do that is if someone fills out a form on your website on the button or upon confirmation, there's almost always an option that says redirect them, redirect URL, push them to a new page. And you can set that up as a thank you page. And then you set that up as a conversion. If they book a call, Calendly, HubSpot, all of these places allow a URL redirect upon call booking con uh, confirmation, which means once they book a call on your calendar, they can get forwarded to a special page on your website, which allows you to track as a conversion. And if you use any kind of pay sales page um, or yeah, any kind of sales page to take uh, payment, you can do the same thing. You can push them to a purchase confirmed page on your website and you can set up a conversion. So I have a last and I have an each for each of those and I've assigned values. So as you can see, my booked call is worth $150. My call booking for each is worth $10. And then I have a confirmed purchase. This is each again uh, for $50. And then I have different assigned values for my different tiers. 
And the only, the only thing I have to have set in order for that to work is for each of those three tiers, I push them to a, to a confirmation page. It's actually the same page. I just attach a, a UTM to the end of it. So let me show you what I mean. So if I go to our website, oops, I went to impactable.co, but it's going to redirect me to impactable.com. Um, any page on your website, you can actually do dash question mark. And put anything you want. So anything you put after this question mark, this is a little hack after this dash question mark, you can put anything you want and it's not going to change the destination. It's only going to add a extra, they call it kind of a UTM. Um, although it's not the traditional UTM, it's more of a URL tag, I guess. Uh, it gives you something that you could set up as a conversion tracking. So if I actually go to this URL, thank you, testing, sends me right back to the same URL. So if you have a, so if you don't want to go through the trouble of creating a thank you page for each of these things, you could just simply send them back to like your homepage or your, your payment page or the same thank you page you're using for other things, but just attach a unique kind of UTM or tag at the end of that URL when you push them back to your homepage that lets you know that they only got there through a conversion. So I've seen, um, you know, people that have contact us forms and after they complete the form, it just sends them back to their homepage so they can use this little trick and that way they have something they can track as conversions. So all that to say that one of my best hacks for LinkedIn ads is to not just set up conversions for form submissions, booked calls, yes, please, and purchase if you can, um, set up a, a conversion value for those. That way, when you're optimizing your campaigns, you're not just trying to get the most conversions, you're, you're looking at impact, the conversions that are worth the most. Or otherwise, if you don't have that set up, you're just going to be optimizing towards the lowest hanging fruit, the easiest conversions to get, which are are not the most valuable conversions. So that's a, that's a great tip.